Duck Plumper, D-U-C-K, second word, Plumper, P-L-U-M-P-E-R. That is all new to me. I was just in the post office here in Carrizozo, New Mexico, and a young lady checked her mail and was really excited. I wondered what it was. She goes outside, tells her friend, girlfriend, sister, whoever was in the car that what she had got. The lady rolled down the window, waved me to come over and said, we just got our duck plumper. And I said, what in the hell is that? She said, it makes your lips look like a duck. Well, uh, folks, welcome to the new world. <laughs> you know, I'm 79 years old, and uh, I'd say that's fairly new to me. Duck plumper, yeah, P-L-U-M-P-E-R. And uh, some, I don't know what it does, but anyway, apparently it's pretty damn popular. So guys, don't worry about artificial intelligence. Worry about real ignorance. I mean, <laughs> you know, let's don't worry about the artificial stuff. We got some real stuff going on, man. Yo, I mean, oh God, how about artificial ignorance, huh? You know, AI, could be. Anyway, I gotta head back to my RV. I'm just doing this short video for the hell of it. My content is getting weak. So I thought, well, duck plumper, that's a biggie. Probably will be, probably go viral. I'm gonna get me some and uh, uh, put it on my cheeks, so to speak, plumper. Man, yeah, I'm so far out of the loop with these young folks. I, it's amazing. But yeah, I'm here in Carrizozo, New Mexico. It's August the 23rd, 2024 at 8.36 a.m. The temperature is 73 top-down degrees. Top-down means if you had a convertible, this would be a good day to put the top down. How many people have convertibles? Not too many. So anyway, guys, we're headed back to my home base. I'll let this go till I get back to my home base. I've got a fella coming to work on my RV today to fix the fresh water tank. And uh, yeah, so you will let you see uh, my home base here in Carrizozo, New Mexico, out here in the boonies. Got a beautiful view of the, on the right of the Sacramento Mountains. And on the left, you got Carrizozo Mountain. And uh, yeah, it's a pretty place to be. And in the fall, and winter and spring those mountains are snow capped pretty neat huh they're not now because the temperature has been pretty dead gum warm so we're cruising along here at what 49 miles an hour warp one duck plumper and they were they were really excited about that you know I thought well, you know that's why I did the video I thought hell this is a, a big deal you know you think you know, learning algorithms and LLMs, large language models, are are important and, and newsworthy. What about duck plumper? <laughs> Woo! -wee. Beat me up, Scotty. God damn, hurry up! Oh golly, the world we live in. Well, you know, we had silly stuff when I was a kid. I'm sure we had stuff equally as dumb. I know we had. Uh, hair wax, butch hair wax, and other stuff for flat tops to make your hair stand up straight, you know, because they cut your hair real short, called it a flat top, and uh, yeah, yeah there, uh, every generation does something with their hair, they either grow it long, cut it short, paint it colors or something, you know, there's always something with the hair, and now it's the lips, duck plumper. So yeah, this is where you go to my place right here. Yeah, this is called Valley del Sol. That means Valley, the, the Sun Valley, I think, or Valley of the Sun. You got these roundabouts here. I think those are cute. They also have them in other parts of New Mexico. I don't know, they may have them in Texas and places too, but I'm not aware of many. I don't know of any in Texas offhand. First time I ran into him was in Santa Fe, New Mexico. No, Taos. Taos, New Mexico. I was going down a road and I thought, what the hell is this? But you go through two roundabouts. Look at the view, man. <coughs> it's certainly not cluttered with homes. Huh. 
<coughs> and I started off today, I didn't do the, the what do you call it, the antihistamine, because I'm trying to get off of that stuff. It's not too bad, my nose is not itching, my eyes aren't itching, you know what I mean, it's okay. I can live without it, and I will. I've done it for 79 years, so we might make a few more. But if it really gets bad, well, the antihistamines work, but they're pretty potent. What's that got to do with duck plumper? I don't know that there's a hell of a lot of relationship between the two. But anyway, guys, we'll get over it. Where do we get to my casa? Mi casa is mi casa. High desert, 50, where my place is, about 5,600 feet. <clears throat> higher than Denver, Colorado, which is 5,200 feet. Well, there's my nail. You know, it, it, except for that one thing, you know, this guy gets up and walks his dog every morning pretty much. Anyway, yeah, he's not, he's all right, guys. I've only met him one time. So here we go to my casa. Guys, you got to get you some duck plumper. No kidding. Isn't this neat? I really, this is probably the best place I've ever had. And I've had a few. Anyway, guys, from my home base here in Carrizozo, New Mexico, on a Friday morning. This will probably come up on a Sunday or Monday, but thumbs up, carpe diem, adios, bye-bye, buy anything you want. Use the Amazon link and get you some duck plumper. Doesn't cost you a penny to use the link in the description of my videos. Drink plenty of water. Exercise your body. Stand guard at the door of your mind. Accentuate the positive. Eliminate the negative and enjoy your life the best you can. And if you have to get some duck plumper, get it. Adios. Bye.